Good morning, everybody. Happy 2016. Um, and we're going to continue on with these two minutes with PJ, and of course, I'm going to be sharing Bible verses. Now, during my study uh, throughout yesterday and actually last night and this morning, um, I sit here and I think about why do we believe? Can we get to heaven? Can we earn it on our, by ourselves? Um, do we get there by luck? Okay. Do we have to do anything? Do we have to pay a price? No. To most of those questions. The, the best way is by faith. And in order to do so, we need to go ahead and look at the acronym FAITH. F stands for forgiveness, in whom we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of His grace. This is Ephesians 1, 7. We need to forgive our brothers and sisters. If we don't forgive, God won't forgive. A is for availability. Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that does the will of my Father which is in heaven will be able to enter. That's in Matthew seven twenty one. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God makes it available for us. We need to just listen. We need to just follow His direction. We need to believe with our whole mind, heart, and soul. The I stands for impossible. God's in heaven. He's holy. And no one can go to heaven in, with sin. And no man hath ascended up to heaven. But he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. That's in John 3.13. That's talking about Jesus. He's the only one that was born sin-free and left sin-free. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That's in Romans 3.23. So, we need to repent of our sins. We won't be able to get to heaven unless we do so. God doesn't want to even see us. So T. T stands for turn. Another terminology for turn is repent. I tell you nay, but except you repent, you shall likewise perish. That's in Luke 13.3. that if thou shalt confess with the mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe with your heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Romans 10.9 This is talking about Jesus being the Son of God, as I said, coming to earth, dying on that cross and being raised from the dead, coming back into heaven. H is for heaven. The thief it comes not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Well, I am that they may live, that they might have life more abundantly. John 10.10 10. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself where I am and where you may be also. Jesus is talking about preparing a place for us in heaven. He's promised that he would prepare a mansion for us if we just follow through and believe. So we're going to end in this following prayer, Lord Jesus. I thank you for the many blessings that you have poured unto us. I am a sinner and a Gentile. I sinned in thought, word, and deed, and I repent my sins and humble myself before you. 
I ask that you come into my life and be my personal Lord and Savior. I will try better not to sin again. And I pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. And this is a little longer than normal, but this is our start off one. Thank you and God bless.